why don't we go straight to Jackie, who is um, lined up and ready to talk to us about the work that's been going on at Sheffield Hallam, which I think you'll find really quite stimulating and uh, also quite, I guess what Jackie's had to contend with, as all of us have, is what those plans were six months ago are now significantly impacted by uh, COVID-19. So I think Jackie's going to reflect a little on that too. But Jackie, can I hand over to you? Yeah, thank you, Paul. Um, and no pressure now for me um, in sharing my uh, sort of the journey that we've had at Hallam. Um, so as um, Paul said um, at the beginning, this is really just a real whistle stop tour. So, you know, clearly I could probably t talk through the whole session um, on the work that we've been doing at Hallam. So this is just really to, to kind of pull out some of the nuts and bolts around what we've been doing um, ever since we signed up the pledge um, to produce the Civic University Agreement. Um, and, you know, obviously there's, there's, you know, for other conversations that we can have um, as a network on, on some of this work, but this is just really to touch on um, some of the things that we've been doing. Um, so in terms of what we did um, from a, a Hallam perspective, and um, Paul mentioned about the, um, the Commission's report and the recommendations, um, and then the guide that had come out from the UPP Foundation around um, producing civic university agreements and, and we used that just to pull out a number of core themes for us at Hallam that we felt would help sort of guide some of the work that we wanted to, to kind of do in the next step and um, so we really pulled out the part around you know putting the public at the heart of the agreement and really kind of start to think about what need in reality um, absolutely understanding the diversity of partnerships to really mean um, and also you know, real focus for us, particularly on the geography um, and what what does that look like for Sheffield Hallam and, and the region that we're in. And um, so we, you know, we were very conscious of, of using the guide um, to kind of think about and inform some of the work that we we're going to do as we moved ahead. What have we done? Um, well, the first thing that we did um, was to, to really sort of do a step back and think, well, OK, you know, we've committed and, and pledged ourselves to produce a civic university agreement. But what are the different aspects of what that we need to do? Um, a lot of that running concurrently and um, that we really felt that we needed to kind of embark on. You can see from this slide, um, you know, we, we, we set about doing a little bit of a scope exercise. I think some of the, the, the findings and recommendations from the um, Commission's report um, highlighted the fact that there's all sorts of different questions that we had to ask ourselves. And but also we wanted to look at what others were doing and, and really get a good understanding and, and mapping out of what do we currently do. Um, I think there was some really clear guidance around, you know, this isn't just about develop an agreement that says this is what we're already doing it was it's an opportunity to really think about what you could do differently and so we undertook quite a lot of work um, and took a bit of a step back and um, through that phase just to really think about what is you know what is the scope of what we want to include in the in the agreement and, and what makes us sort of, um, at an overall kind of strategic level and we read then and um, really thought back to the, the point around um, you know the public and, and key stakeholders being at the heart of the partnership and informing um, you know what the role of Hallam is as a, a civic university so and um, we looked at and, and developed a number of different engagement exercises and I'll come on to and um, talking through that in terms of what we did there and what that's kind of led um, us into the thinking um, we then got some other phases around, you know, how do we actually do the co-creation? You know, what are the actual practicalities around co-creating a civic university degree with a number of different stakeholders and what does that look like in reality? Um, and then clearly there was a, a couple of phases around actually developing the, the agreement itself and then going into kind of long ongoing implementation, engagement and consultation. So we felt it was really useful to just kind of take that step back in that planning process. And I just, I just pulled out on the next few slides a, a, some, a little bit of detail around what, what some of the thinking that we did. So, you know, part of the challenge when we um, looked at the definition and scope of, of the Civic University Agreement was really around, you know, what, what is civic um, to us at Hallam? Um, you know, there's, there's a number of things that we all do as universities that are just our kind of core activities that clearly um, impact and, 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 and help and, and and feed into the, the regions that we are part of and are based in. Um, and that's as simple as the fact that we're large employers in a location um, and we therefore contribute in lots of different ways just simply by being a large employer. 
And we also thought about what does that mean in terms of things like corporate social responsibility, what bits of it, what's, what's our role. So there was a lot of discussion around you know, what, what is that definition about what civic really means for us. Um, also have um, you know some some um, considerations around the regional priorities. So you know we we in 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 the South Yorkshire region have a number of different aspects that we're kind of feeding into. Um, you know whether that was at the time um, what that was going on um, regionally around the, the local industrial strategy. There was a, a regional strategic economic plan which is, is still being developed. We have a number of different regional bodies that we have to um, with. So. We, you know, we really wanted to focus in on what that, you know, what, 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 where do we kind of pick up some of that regional need um, discussion from, and, and also where are some of the gaps that we're not getting that through the existing relationships that we had, um, in terms of some of those partners, and, and then the third part that we thought about in terms of our definition and scope was also around the fact that we have we had a strategy, we have a strategy, and um, there was already some clearly stated aims. Um, in that strategy re, um, relating to how we wanted to lead locally and uh, with very specific areas of focus which we started to implement and um, which had been identified through need um, and the discussions that we'd had um, with, with, with our regional partners um, and we'd also been doing a lot of work around you know externally communicating um, you know Helm's role at the heart of the region so we had to kind of think about where did that all fit into the, the to the work that we wanted to do on the civic university agreement and um, I talked at the beginning about some of the work that we did around engagement so we, we pulled out a number of key stakeholder groups when we started to look at well okay how do we make sure that we catch everything and um, that all of these different stakeholder groups um, currently feel about how but also um, how, you know what 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 are those needs you know back to, to the recommendations from the commission's report and um, so we did um, as a slide um, outlined a number of different um, engagement activities with with our staff and um, so we did a lot of work around you know let's understand what do we currently do across the university there's lots of things that you know me and my role I don't know about um, but also asked our staff what are the things that are opportunities that we could do more of um, we engaged um, in conjunction with our students' union with our students um, and, and particularly with um, targeting groups of, of non-engaged students that we, we wouldn't typically um, always be able to get um, so, uh, input from. Um, Important, we did a, a couple of steps around engaging the public. So we commissioned um, a YouGov um, public perceptions piece of research um, to go out and target some uh, specific demographic groups across the Sheffield City region. And then a lot of that was around kind of unprompted and prompted awareness of our civic role and the activities that we do. And then we also did a, a more general public listening exercise with an online survey. Um, and we actually went out and, and, and did some outreach events into other areas to make sure we captured um, responses. Um, and then, like all of you, I'm sure we're, we're, we've been engaging with key stakeholders on, on an ongoing basis um, for that. So um, just in terms of um, the, the kind of result, I mean, I guess there wasn't a lot of surprises in, in some of the findings from some of this work. And I think particularly interesting around the public um, work that we did, um, which actually threw back a, a lot of questions for us around, <coughs> excuse me, um, you know, a lot of it was just around how are we, how much are we communicating and making our region aware of what we do, and that was kind of the biggest finding that we had. Um, that were, you know, beyond the fact that they know that we teach, um, and, and we're a university. That you know, there was very little awareness of some of the other kind of civic activities that we do, um, and I think that was a, a really interesting um, sort of part of, of of what we found, and it kind of fed into discussions around <clears throat> do we is this just about talking more and, and communicating more with our local region about what we do or you know or is the focus more on the, the kind of needs analysis and, and looking at the strategic um, input, impact that we can have and um, so I think that's that's been a really kind of interesting um, finding it led us to um, some thinking around some of our civic choices and um, so we've started to have some strategic dis discussions internally um, about you know what is our level of ambition um, in terms of our civic role, and um, we've, we've discussed and, 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 and looked at what the geographical scope is. We've got a lot of, as you can see on that, that map, we've got a lot of, of outlying areas and, and it could actually be quite wide. 
Um, we've also had discussions around how do we maximise impact. Um, you know, we, there's lo, lo, you know the, the findings of all the work we've done is there's loads and loads of things that we do, but actually how do we get ourselves focused to, to have the biggest impact? Um, and then also um, thinking about how do we channel our resources effectively um, you know, and how do we prioritise or reprioritise our existing resources around this work. Um, so it's been a really useful exercise to help um, sharpen our thinking. Um, and I'm going to leave it there because I'm, I'm conscious of time, but I hope that's been a really helpful um, sort of overview of, of, of bits of the work that we've been doing. Thank you so much, Jackie. Um, it would be great if we could applaud and be in the same room together just that is such a, a helpful overview of the work that you've done the chat is buzzing it's fantastic um thank you so much to people for using chat because it's a really good way i think of getting um questions framed and also some answers have been coming in we've had um the team from Sheffield Hallam picking up on some of those questions that you've been asking, for instance, about the extent to which Sheffield Hallam was engaged with the community before this process started. What was your starting point? Uh, and Natalie from Sheffield Hallam's sort of responded to that in the chat. Um, I'm going to just pick one question for you, Jackie, because I know you need to, to move to a COVID-19 related meeting fairly rapidly. Um, Sarah, um, talked about this Sarah Kay um, this is a wonderfully thorough process you've undertaken I was wondering how much staff resource you had working on this and from start to finish how long has this process taken um, okay yeah that's a really um, uh, important question um, so we we have quite a small team um, working on this in Hallam um, but actually we, we have we, we've have a focus um, through my team on external engagement so we kind of um, sort of jumped on board um, existing activity that, that my team were already doing so we've we've got quite a small um, external engagement team we worked really closely with um, our in-house customer internet site team as well in terms of the the YouGov um, and public perceptions work so we, we do have a better resource that could help us with that data analysis um, but we have, you know, I've, I've, I've got um, got three people in my team that have kind of contributed um, to, to to get embarking on this um, activity. We've kept it and um, take quite a tight group on that. And in terms of how long it's taken from start to finish, we we went out um, and, and kicked off the staff. It, the staff engagement activity was the easiest to just kick off, and um, because it's our staff, we we have lots of engagement activities already in place. Um, so we just jumped on board with some of that. So we started that um, through the summer um, last year um, and started to do some of the data gathering exercises on, on that bit. And the, pub, the YouGov activity we did in sort of August and into September, um, and then the public perceptions work we ran through October, November. Um, and then, you know, we've used, we used kind of January to, to do a bit of pulling together all of the um, analysis on what it was telling us. Um, and that obviously then was starting to feed into what did we do next around um, stakeholder engagement, particularly with those anchor institution partners and um, where we wanted the discussions to be informed by what the public was telling us um, rather than us just kind of, you know, plowing on and, and going out and having those conversations. Um, and then obviously um, something else got in the way in February. Um, as as we did with for all of us so it's it's that slightly just impacted on our timing but yeah it's, you know we've we've not we've not rushed it and um, but we've you know we've we've made sure that we've done it in a, in a in a flow of activity i hope that helps 